What's up, Peak Timers? This is the Hot Wheels Koenigsegg Gajira R. I've got two loose variations of these, even though they look the same. Watch this video and I'll tell you why. All right, guys, here it is. I've got three Koenigsegg Gajira R's to show you. And I just want to mention that this video was a request from a Peak Timer that follows me on Instagram. I'm gonna throw his name up on the screen right now. And if you guys are not following me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, please follow me at the links down below. Oh. So here they are. This was an ever so popular casting in the Need for Speed series done by Hot Wheels. They don't produce this one anymore, but I just want to show you a couple different variations of it. So as you can see, I've got two of them out of the package and I've got one in the package right here. So this casting is absolutely amazing. The quality, the details on this casting are literally top notch. So you can see they've got the different wheels that we don't see very often. In, so some very unique, nice looking wheels on it. They are real rider tires on here as well. You can see the actual real riders on there. And the details on this car are just crazy top notch. And it's something that we don't really see a lot anymore, but you can see it right from the back right here. And we've got the nice spoiler on it. And you can see the little Azure R right there very small but we can still see the nice details of it very very cool looking casting and i love this one this is literally one of my favorite castings that hot wheels has ever produced the prices on these are going sky high on ebay i mean if you want one new in box you're going to pay around 100 to 150 us for it if you want a, a loose one which you can't really find very often you're probably looking around the 80 dollar mark or so so uh, let's have a look in, and i'm going to tell you why i have two different castings right here so these are actually different and how these are different you can't really tell just by looking at the car from above but when we flip the car over and i'll show you this one first and we look on the back so you can see right there Koenigsegg CCX and we know that's actually a mistake and this is actually a very common mistake on this release. The original releases of the Koenigsegg Azera R had Koenigsegg CCX. It was finally reported and they finally fixed that and then we've got this other one right here and this is the corrected one. So if we look at the corrected one, you can see it says Koenigsegg Azera R. So there are two different variations of it. So if you're a collector, um, you probably wanna have both variations. It's kind of a, a unique and kind of a, a weird mistake that they made on these castings. But uh, other than that, they're exactly the same. There's not really any differences for them, but uh, I chose to keep both of these ones uh, kind of out and then I've got one in the package to collect and let's take a look at the one in the package as well All right, so this is the one in the package You can see the need for speed graphics on there and it's got all these slots and slashes and stuff on there to kind of Imitate the speed of this car and there it is sitting nicely in the blister pack We've got Kona Zegajera R now. It's uh, I, I could probably look closer It's hard to tell which variation this is as far as the mistake on the bottom, but this is definitely one that I'm gonna keep in package and collect. And I really like how it floats in the center there and the, the packaging on this is just absolutely amazing. We'll look on the back, you can see the Need for Speed series on there and some of the barcoding and information if you so have choose to read. And it does say uh, 2013, so it could be a 2013, 2014 release of this casting, but uh, very, very nice, beautiful inbox casting that we've got right here. Now, if you're like most people and you don't want to spend like $100 to get this single Hot Wheels casting, there are rumors that we are going to see a re-release of the Koenigsegg Agera R. Hot Wheels Koenigsegg Agera R. Finally back to the Hot Wheels lineup. It's come out as a Hot Wheels premium model from the Hot Wheels Boulevard series. And here we have it in a beautiful looking white color. And there is our Koenigsegg Agera R or Agera R, however way you wanna pronounce it. But we have it in hand and we're gonna open it on up today. We're gonna to get a close up look at it. First, we're gonna do a slight comparison to the original release of the Hot Wheels Koenigsegg Agera R. It came as a premium one as well from the Need for Speed series. And there it is in that red color with the blacked out wheels, it looks very, very nice as well. The castings are very much the same, just recolored. 
but it was such a good popular casting and people wanted it back for so long and we're so lucky to finally have it. I do have some loose ones of the red one opened up that we'll get to take a look at in a second and do a comparison. But first off, let's go ahead and just pop open this one right here. If we look in the back first quickly, we can see all the different cars that are included in this Hot Wheels Boulevard set. I didn't purchase all of these other cars because honestly, this is this is the, the main show right there. We just want that Koenigsegg, so that's the only one that I picked up. So let's go ahead and open it on up and get a close up look at it. Here we go, in hand for the very first time. A white Koenigsegg Ajera R, and you can see those beautiful looking blacked out wheels on there. And then we go look around the top. Great detail from that front end. You can see those nice headlights on there. We can see that kind of cool pinstriping that they've got down there as well. And then we've got the classic Koenigsegg Ghost. And there's a big backstory to that as far as like airplanes back in the old days in which Koenigsegg decided to use that logo on all of their cars. So all of the cars, all of the Koenigsegg cars released have that ghost on there. And it's nice that Hot Wheels put that little touch on there as well. And there we have that nice back end as well. Great detail for the lights and all. And let's go ahead and grab the other Koenigsegg, our loose one. This is our need for speed variation. I've got that one loose as well. And we can get a nice comparison of both of those. So we can see the color difference. The striping on the front of it is different. As far as the front headlights go, very, very similar. Both very nicely detailed. We'll switch it on over to the back as well. And very, very similar. We get the license plate marking on the need for speed one. Nothing for a license plate on the newer one, but indeed, a fantastic casting, and this one is getting bought up like crazy. I'll be honest, I purchased this one on eBay just because I was not able to go into stores and pick it up just because of the whole situation going on in the world right now, but that's okay. I got it for a good price. I'm very, very happy with it, and I'm definitely going to put it on display. One thing to note, if we look at the bottom, this one does say Koenigsegg Ajera R. This one right here does say if we have a close up look at it. It also does say Koenigsegg Ajera R on there, but they did make a mistake on the first release of it. You can see I do have two of these plus the new one. Uh, we, we've got this one that does say Koenigsegg CCX. You can see it right there. So they kind of made a mistake. Then they re-released it, corrected it, um, but the new one does have it corrected on there as well. There's no mistakes on this one. Koenigsegg Ajera R in white. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, what do you think of the new Koenigsegg Ajera R? Are you a big fan of it? Are you gonna try and collect it? I'd love to hear your feedback on this car. What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Let's open up and get a close-up look at over 20 of the newest Hot Wheels. And we'll start it off with our first new model. It's a brand new casting. It's the 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel in red. Let's go ahead and open this up and get a close up look at this brand new casting from Hot Wheels. There it is in its red stance. We've got blacked out wheels in the center with a little bit of chrome around the edge of it. Nice big thick tires on there. And we look at the front of it. We've got the big Ram logo on there and we've got a sunroof on the top, a nice little bed as well back there and good detail on the back as well. Look at that Ram logoing on there, the Rebel 4x4 and all of that. A really cool casting all around. I'm really excited to finally get my hands on this one. And next up from the Honda series, it's the Honda S2000. And this time we have a brand new color in green. Let's go ahead and open this up and get a close up look at this one here. And here it is. It's got the Gretti on the side of it. It's the hard top variation of this car. We've got gold wheels on there and we've seen these wheels on a lot of JDM cars as well. Nice cool little body kit on the front end as well as those tamp work for those headlights. Let's have a look at the back, not a lot of detail on the back as far as tamper work goes, but we got that cool big rear spoiler on it. And next up from the Tune series, we've got the Skull Shaker, a brand new color of the Skull Shaker. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see what it's all about. And there it is, a nice looking matte finish paint job to this. And the cool thing about the Skull Shaker is when you actually wheel it down the road, you can see that this little piece right here will go and hit the tire and then it will shake the little skull guy inside of there. So 
So it's a pretty neat little touch, some cool detail to this little car here. We can see the little tampa work on the side with the skull on there as well. A neat little recolor of the skull shaker. And next up, we've got our first of three McLarens that we're gonna see today. This one is the McLaren P1, and it's in this new gray color with blacked out wheels. Let's go ahead and see what this one's all about. And this gray color is fantastic looking. We actually seen this gray color on real life McLarens recently. So it's cool that Hot Wheels came out with it. It's almost got like a satin finish to it. Not quite glossy, but not quite matte finish. A very, very cool touch to this. I really like the detail on the front end. And as you guys have heard me said before, I love the Hot Wheels variation of the P1 because it's parked in race mode. So we've got that little spoiler that's lifted up on it. And these blacked out wheels look absolutely fantastic on this McLaren P1, I really, really like it. From the Hot Wheels Hot Truck series, we've got a new recolor of the 1991 GMC Cyclone, this time in red. We originally saw it in a black color. Let's go ahead and see this one up close now. Here we go, wow, look at that. It's a very glossy red, and these wheels are just so cool. I love the look of these wheels on the GMC Cyclone. It's the same wheels that we saw on the black one as well, but nonetheless, they look fantastic. Not a lot of detail on the back end. We do see the Cyclone logo on there but pretty basic nonetheless and from the front end as well not a lot of tampa work or anything like that but it's just a really really cool little truck i really really like this one and that bed that's all flattened on there that looks really really neat as well i love the gmc cyclone from the Street Beast series, we've got Duck and Roll. We've got a brand new recolor of the Duck and Roll. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And this is just a brand new casting for the 2020 release. And it's just a really fun and cool, different little casting. I love the big wheels on the back, the little ones on the front. And there is the little ducky that you see right there. We go around to the back. We've got the exhaust coming out of it, a big fan coming out the back. It's just a fun, cool fan casting dock and roll from the factory fresh series we've got the 2019 corvette zr1 convertible a brand new color of this casting we originally saw this one released in a red color and now we've got this one it looks like a purplish color to me and i love these five spoke wheels on here they look fantastic big five spokes on there and little ones on the front end and check out the detail of that zr1 right there it looks absolutely fantastic i love that little lip that's kind of come across right there on there you can see kind of continue all on the side we've got the big rear spoiler on there as well and great detail for the front work of this corvette zr1 such a fantastic looking casting super happy to get another recolor of this one from the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics series, we've got a brand new color variation of the Datsun Bluebird Wagon 510. We originally saw a Momo edition of this one in a red color, and now we've got it kind of reversed with this black color on there. We've got the yellow striping and the red on there as well with the Momo logos right there. Kind of looks like an arrow pointing forward. Really, really neat touch to this. And we can see all that Momo-ness on the side of it as well. Good detail on the back end. Right there we've got blacked out wheels with that yellow lip to go as well and there we can see that wagonness to the back or estate if you're in a different part of the world but there we go we got that red lip on the bottom right there as well and then all red on there a very very cool looking recolor of the Datsun Bluebird 510 wagon another new casting for 2020 from the Nightburner series we've got the 1996 Chevrolet Impala SS let's go ahead and open this one up and and see what this one's all about. And this one in real life originally came in a black color and that's the black color that we got released in Hot Wheels formation here. Very, very glossy looking. And these wheels that they have for it, very fitting for the Impala SS. A little bit of nice details on the front end for the headlights, the Chevy logo right there, and just a very high gloss color on this one. We go around to the back, it's pretty plain, but you know what? It's kind of just all blacked out, which I do really, really like. The Chevrolet Impala SS, a neat looking new casting for 2020. We've got an Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 car. This time it's high beam, and we're still getting some Tokyo Olympic cars, even though 
though there's no actual Tokyo Olympics this year that has happened, but nonetheless, we're not gonna be disappointed with all the new cars that they come out with. Here is high beam right here, and we can see this one. You can see it's the artistic gymnastics on the side. That's the car that this one represents. High beam, the name, very fitting for the name of this car and what it represents in this nice looking white color. And we've got that kind of like a greenish base on the bottom. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what color that is with the lighting here, but we got the Tokyo 2020 logo on the top. It's a pretty neat looking casting, not my favorite fantasy casting that we've seen this year, but nonetheless, Olympic cars are pretty neat to collect. And from the Hot Wheels Exotic Series, one of my new favorite castings for 2020, it is the McLaren Speed Tail. Really looking forward to this one. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Here we go. Wow, this one is just fantastic. The proportions of this one are just perfectly correct because it's quite a long car in real life and that's how Hot Wheels has done it. They've made it really long and this kind of like a light blue color that they've done, it's just like the real life variation. Check out the detail on the front end, all the cool slots and aerodynamic parts of this car. And then in real life as well, we do get these front wheels that are kind of, they got wheel covers on them in real life. So we've got different wheels for the front than we do on the back of it. And then in the back, you can see the nice aerodynamics, the little cutouts for those fins that come up in real life as well. And then the doors that come up. And then we do have center seating on this one as well. And you can see that right there. There is the steering wheel right in the middle there, just like the real life car. An absolute beauty. One of my favorite new castings for 2020, the McLaren Speedtail. And from Hot Wheels screen time, we've got the treasure hunt of the 2020 N case, and it is the Beatles Yellow Submarine. Let's go ahead and open this one up. We have seen the Yellow Submarine before, but it's neat that they finally released it as a treasure hunt. It's just an interesting casting. It's something different to see from Hot Wheels. And if we look right on the back right there, there is your treasure hunt logo that you see right there. And just really, really different just totally crazy of a casting. I would have never expected Hot Wheels to ever come out with something like this, but nonetheless, they're sponsored by the Beatles, so they've come out with a lot of cool looking Beatles cars. And even this one, if we look in the bottom, it's got the wheels on there, so it does roll just like a normal car, even though it is a submarine. It's the Beatles Yellow Submarine. From the Hot Wheels Exotic Series, we've got a brand new casting. It's the 2017 Lamborghini Urus. And although we did see this one in the previous case, the 2020 M case, we still have to open one up for the 2020 N case. Here it is in its yellow formation. Nice big chrome wheels on there and great detail. It's just perfect as far as real life comparison to this little one right there. All the cuts and slats for this Lamborghini Urus look Look absolutely fantastic as well as the detail on the back end right there you can see that great looking we've got like the LED light bars we've got the Lamborghini written on their Urus for the license plate but just an all-around great looking casting I'm super excited to get this one and I've got another one to add to the collection the Lamborghini Urus from the tune series we've got the surf and turf and this is a cool tuned out, kind of like a 50s wagon. Let's go ahead and open this one up. It's got a big engine on there, blacked out wheels on there as well. Big ones on the back, smaller ones on the rear. Look at all the chrome. We've got the surfboard on there, chrome interior, as you can see as well, chrome side tailpipes and black base on the bottom. It's just a really cool looking tuned out surf and turf. There it is. From the Hot Wheels Hot Truck series, and this is definitely a hot truck, it's the 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT, and this one's in black. We've seen many different new color variations of this one. I think we got a white one, and we got like a blue one with a lot of writing on it, but this black one is just looking fantastic. And check it out, it's like sponsored on the back. It's got like Bell Tech. I'm not really sure exactly what that means. You guys can probably tell me in the comments section down below. Hot Wheels logo on the back, and on the rear end right there just says Chevrolet kind of etched into the actual casting. Giant tires on there, which just perfectly matches what it would be in real life. And I do like the kind of white that they have for Tampa work on there. It actually looks pretty neat. We got a sunroof on the top of it and nice big aggressive front end with that wide stance of those wide tires on there. Chevrolet Trail Boss, I really like this casting and I'm happy to get a new color of it. 
And from the Hot Wheels exotic series, you probably clicked on this video for this car, and I don't blame you. It's the 2020 Koenigsegg Yesco, a brand new casting for 2020. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see it up close. And this one comes in a nice silver color, and these wheels, which kind of, they do kind of suit it, although I probably would have liked to see them a little bit bigger. And there is that crazy rear wing on there, and you can see how it kind of goes goes right through, it's got the hole in the middle right there, it goes right to the front. We've got the big exhaust on the rear of it, and if we see from the top end right there, we've got that window kind of goes right down the center of it, and then we've got this wraparound window on here. Cool looking diffuser on there, but wow, this is just a great looking casting, and look at that, look at even the little tempo work that goes around the little front scoop right there. And this was just a really big surprise when we saw this one come out in concept form. We just did not expect to see any, a new Koenigsegg, especially to the mainline line, but you know what, nonetheless, it's a great looking casting and I can't wait to get this one in some new colors. I'd probably like to see maybe a white one or a blue one or something like that. That would be really cool. You guys let me know which colors you'd like to see this casting come in in the future. An absolutely fantastic new recolor. It's from the Muscle Mania series. It's the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. And this one in a cool looking yellow color with great tempo work on the side. It's kind of like a sponsored drag racing car. So let's go ahead and see this up close and we can see all these sponsors on there. Look at that. Look at all the stickers, little Hot Wheels logo on there. We've got the Mopar logo, a couple other different ones. Jegs is the big sponsored logo on the side. I'm not sure exactly what Jegs is. If you guys know, let me know in the comments section down below and check out the yellow with the big stripe that goes down there. And then on the front end, we've got the little SRT logos just to show right there as well. And this one does have those small wheels on the front with the bigger ones on the back. You can see how skinny they are. So a couple of different castings we've had to this one. And some of them had the thicker tires in the front. Some of them had these skinny ones. So it's nice to see another one come out with the skinny ones. It's perfectly aligned for drag racing. And unfortunately, we don't have a lot of tampa work for the front end, but we do have lots of stripes and lots of sponsorship. It's a nice looking casting, the SRT Demon. From the Xperia Motor Series, we've got the Speed Driver. And this is a really unique casting because it's an actual tool. So let's go ahead and open this one up and we can see it's a little wrench on there. And if we actually look at from this side, you can see totally it's an actual wrench. And you can use this as, an, as a wrench if you wanna actually tighten something or unscrew something, you can definitely use this as a real wrench. So it's a very, very unique casting. I don't know exactly what these things are down here. Maybe you can like store some nails or something like that, but it's spare motors. It's definitely an interesting casting. And hey, if you ever need a spare screwdriver, you can just go to your Hot Wheels collection and there you have one, the Xperia Motor Speed Driver. From the Hot Wheels Exotic Series, we've got the Aston Martin 177, and this one in the 2020 end case came as a Chase ID car. This is just the mainline variation, and I'm really liking this car. Let's go ahead and open this one up. This one's red, and it's got some great white stripes right down, and it's kind of off-centered. It's not perfectly centered in it. It's got a nice, brighter and colored interior on there. Good detail on the front. I really like the Aston Martin grills. So this one nonetheless looks fantastic. Big chrome wheels on this one as well. Not a lot of detail on the back end. We've got a little bit of a rear diffuser on there, but it's still a really neat recolor of the Aston Martin 177. From the Hot Wheels Rescue series, we've got Skyboat, and this is an interesting new recolor, and also this casting does a cool little trick. So let's go ahead and go over that. So there is the new color of this one, white wheels on it, and here's the kind of party trick that this one does. It's got this thing that kind of just goes right over on the back, so you can see, you can make the front end look totally different on this car if we just flip this one right here, and it's got the Rescue logo, and of course it wouldn't be a video if I didn't drop a car, so we've dropped this one here and there it is Hot Wheels I mean it's kind of a, just a different 
cool fantasy casting. It almost looks like it could be a boat or a car at the same time. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. I'm not exactly sure, but it's pretty cool. And our third McLaren to open up today, we've got a brand new recolor of the McLaren Senna. And this time it's in white and wow, this one is absolutely fantastic. I really, really like the McLaren Senna casting. And in case you guys didn't see a previous video that I went over it, you can see that on the front end, they've actually retooled the headlights. So they've got more indentation on the lights right here. They're not actually painted in they are on the Hot Wheels ID variation but at least it's a little bit more defining it gives it a little bit better angle rather than it just being cold totally flat on the front end like the original release of this one was this one white with the blacked out wheels I really really like I love white cars with black wheels I think it looks great and nonetheless the McLaren Senna just such a cool looking car so many different angles to it big spoiler on there there's just what can you not like about the McLaren Senna and our last car to open up today from the Hot Wheels Art Cars series, we've got a new color of the Roger Dodger. This is the original Roger Dodger, not Roger Dodger 2.0. So let's go ahead and open this one up. And being an Art car series, you can see it's got all really cool tampa work and lots of cool little detail that is stamped right onto here. And this one says, I think it's a steam, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to mean. And let's go ahead, we'll see the front end. We've got the big chrome and engine on there that's sticking out. We got the R on the top and on the side right here. Uh, what does that say? Dunk? Maybe? I'm not exactly sure. It's, I think it says Dunk on there. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but just a pretty neat. I like the art car series because I like the detail that they put into these ones and especially the Roger Dodger 2.0. So many amazing new cars that we opened up today. In the comment section down below, let me know which were your two favorite cars that I unboxed today. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. What's up Hot Wheelers? Today we've got a really fun one for you. We've got the Kona Zeg Ajera R versus six super exotic hyper cars. So we've got a lineup, man, this is a great lineup that we have today. Uh, we've got a couple cars that haven't been down the track for a while one that has never been down the track so it's going to be a surprise to see who the winner is all right first up let's see the contender it's the Koenigsegg Ajera R and this is the Hot Wheels from the Need for Speed series set and uh, I will tell you a couple of things unique about it number one is it's got the rubber eyes tires on it so who knows if that's going to be helpful or if that's going to hold it back. The other thing that's interesting is if you look on the bottom, it says Koenigsegg CCX and you guys have corrected this many times before. And I know for a fact that this is not the CCX. This is the Ajera R. So Ajer R is the contestant and it's going one versus one against each one of these super hyper exotic cars. So first up, we've got the blue Ferrari Enzo. And this one has never been down the track. I literally just opened this car up yesterday. So it's going to be a really fun one to see how fast it goes and can it beat the Ajera R in its first race, we will see. Next up, we've got the yellow McLaren P1. Uh, my favorite colorway for the P1. I love it with those titanium grayish type wheels. Just a fantastic looking Hot Wheels and they make it in a couple different colors. Well, about three or four different colors to be exact. Next up, we've got the Pagani Ware, and this is the white one with the black top and the blacked out wheels. I think it looks fantastic. I just love this one. All right. Next up, we've got the silver Lamborghini Veneno, and this has been getting a lot of track time lately. Lots of Lamborghini races. I know you guys love the Veneno, so why not put it down the track more often? So that one is going to be a fun race to watch. All right, next up we've got the Ford GT, and this one is from the Forza Motorsport set. So the original one that I opened up in the single package did not fare too well. So this is the Forza Motorsports package, and this one has similarities between the Ajera R. It does have the rubber eyes wheels, and uh, this one has only gone down the track in our Forza Motorsport series, so we don't know how it fair shares against any other cars outside of its own. 
So we will see that one as well. Last but not least, we've got the Bugatti Veyron, and this is the satin red exclusive version. And uh, I don't think this one's been down in a, a six lane set uh, versus just one car. We picked some other colors, but the satin red one is now taking its share, and the Bugattis have been real fast. So we will see if the satin red one can take out a win as well. All right, we will start. Race number one is the Enzo. So let's take the blue Enzo. And uh, I do random lane order, so we'll start these ones in these lanes here since they're already all nicely set up. So I'm just gonna get the cameras all set, cars all ready to roll. We'll be back with race number one. All right, cars are all set, cameras all stage. We're ready to go. Race one, on your mark, get set, go. Well, unfortunately for the Koenigsegg, it wasn't even close. The Enzo just smoked the Koenigsegg in the first race and damn, I don't know about these tires, guys. We've seen the Koenigsegg go down the track before, but how bad did it do? All right, so Enzo, you're going straight and P1. We'll put you over there and we'll mix these guys up. We'll put them in those lanes right there. Uh, so just so you know, if you haven't watched my previous ones, face forward means you won, face backwards means you lost. So it's one nothing for the hyper exotic cars versus the Koenigsegg. Here we go, race number two, McLaren P1 versus the Ager R. On your mark, get set, go. And it's another win for the hyper exotic cars. The McLaren P1 beats out the Ajera R and we'll take it back to the starting line and Koenigsegg go back and it is hyper exotics again. All right, uh, I'm, I'm starting to lose faith in the Koenigsegg. I know it's only been two races, but apparently these tires may not be so fast, but uh, we'll see. All right, here we go. Pagani Walray versus the Ajera R. We're ready for race number three. On your mark, get set, go. And again, another win for the Hyper Exotics. It's the Pagani Ware takes out the Ajera R in the third race. So we'll go back to the starting line. We'll put the Ajera R down. And three for three right there for those ones. We move on to the Lamborghini Veneno and it looks like it's fast and ready to roll. Here, uh, we'll put the, we'll split them up this time. Here we go. We'll give uh, Ajera R lane number one, Veneno lane number six. So here we go, race number four. Can the Ajera R pull off anything here? On your mark, get set, go. Once again, the super hyper exotic cars beat the Jera R and there it is. Those rubberized wheels may not be that fast, but 
Next race, we have the Ford GT, and the Ford GT has the rubberized wheels, just like the Ajera R. So this might be the Ajera R's only chance at a win. Uh, who knows if it can beat that Bugatti? The Bugattis have been pretty fast. Here we go for race number five. On your mark, get set, go. Well, even the Ford GT with the rubber eyes wheels beats out the Ajera R. So no wins yet for the Ajera R. Five for five for the Hyper Exotics. We'll put those back. And this is your last opportunity, Ajera R, to get a win. We've got it versus the satin red Lamborghini. And you know what, let's, uh, let's put them in that lane right there. Here we go. All right, satin red Lamborghini. Last chance to get a win for the Ajera R. Here we go. Any mark, get set, go. And the Bugatti takes the win. I know it was a bad start for the Ajera, but let's be real here, guys. That Ajera would have no chance against this Bugatti. The Bugatti's top speed is just way too high for the Ajera R. So Ajera R, you are 0 for 6 in your own series. So you are a loser. And you know what, just for fun, we're gonna race all the winning cars. So all the cars from this track set here against each other and we're gonna find out who the fastest one is just so we can settle this all right now all right so all the six winning cars you guys beat out the rest of them but we are ready to find out who is the fastest of this series here we go on your mark get set go And there you have it guys, your winner for all of these cars is the Ferrari Enzo. It's faster than any one of these cars and a Jera R, you are not faster than any of those six. So unfortunate occurrence for the Jera R, couldn't even get a win out of all these ones. And the brand new out of package Enzo is the grand champion. So it looks like we have a new super exotic car as the grand champion and looks like we're gonna have to give the Enzo its own series versus some other super exotic cars. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I know you like these series, so throw this video a like if you wanna see more. Don't forget to subscribe to my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. What's up P-Timers? It's race day, and today we've got this Kodazeg Yesco, and it is going up against 12 other Hot Wheels exotics. We're gonna do a big tournament to find out the fastest. And our first three cars are on the starting grid. We've got the Lamborghini Centenario Roadster. This one in a silverish gray color with those big chrome wheels on there, an absolute beauty. And next beside that, we've got the Porsche 918 Spider. This one in blue with the white wheels. And let's have a closer look at the Koenigsegg Yesco, the brand new release from Hot Wheels in this silver variation with chrome wheels and that big spoiler for that downforce on there. Nice looking Koenigsegg. And this will be our first race 
And so the Exotics will have a chance to beat the Konazeg, but if the Konazeg wins, it will get a point. And if the Exotics win, they will get a point. Let's find out how many points each of the sets get, and let's get our racing going. On your mark, get set, go! And race number one goes to the Konazeg Yesco beating out the 918 Spider and the Centenario Roadster. Here we go for race number two. Can the Konazeg Agera R beat out its younger sibling? There is our white Agera R. This one does have real riders, so it might have a slight disadvantage, but this car's already proven to be pretty quick even with those real riders on there. Nice looking white color. And then we've got the McLaren Senna, the original Hot Wheels release of the McLaren Senna. It's in this kind of grayish blue color with chrome 10 spoke wheels on there. Lots of big downforce on there for racing. And there we go, race number two. Can the Konazeg Yesco get another win against the Exotics or will it be the Konazeg Agera R or the Senna? Here we go, race number two. On your mark, get set, go. The Konazeg Yesco proving to be a fast one, beating out the Agera R and the Senna, but now we've got some Ferrari and Lamborghini, our only Lamborghini SUV, or only SUV in all in this race. It's the Lamborghini Urus, this brand new one in yellow. Gorgeous looking, beautiful lines on this one all around. Nice big chrome wheels on there. And beside it, we've got the Ferrari La Ferrari in red, of course, with the black top chrome wheels on there. Beautiful looking of the Holy Trinity. And then we've got the Yesco, which will be in lane number five. Let's go for race number three. Can the Exotics get a win against the Yesco or will the Yesco go up three to nothing? Here we go, on your mark, get set. Go! And the Lamborghini Urus absolutely destroys the competition, beating out the Yesco as well as that La Ferrari. But we've got another Ferrari and Lamborghini on our starting grid going up against the Yesco right now. We've got the Ferrari FXX. Look at that red with the white stripe on there. Nice chrome wheels on there. A beautiful looking design. And it is going up against my favorite all time Hot Wheels car. It is the Lamborghini Murcielago SV in yellow. And this is from the Speed Machines series, a very rare exclusive Hot Wheel. And that's going up against our Yesco. Let's see if one of these cars can beat out that Yesco to even up this tournament. Here we go for race number four. On your mark, get set, go. And the Yesco takes the win, beating out the Murcielago SV and the FXX. But now we've got some big guns coming up. We've got the Bugatti Chiron and the Aston Martin Vulcan. Let's have a look at them. Here is our Chiron in blue. This is the first release. It's got some silver trim on it. Nice chrome wheels on there. Just one of the most popular designed Hot Wheels cars in the past few years. And then next to that, we've got the Aston Martin Vulcan. This one in white with a nice Nice red trim on there, blacked out wheels, big wing for that good downforce on this one. And lane number five, this time we've got the Yesco. Let's see if the Yesco can go up four to one or can the Exotics make a comeback. Here we go for race number five. On your mark, get set, go. And it's the Bugatti Chiron that takes the win, beating out the Konazeg Yesco. And we're all set for race number six. Let's see who's racing. In lane number five, we've got the brand new casting of the McLaren Speedtail. A very, very nice, well-designed casting by Hot Wheels. There it is, two different wheels on the front and back, just to imitate the aerodynamic front wheel cover on the real life car. And then next to that, we've got the Pagani Waira Roadster. This one in black with gold wheels 
wheels. I really like this color trim on this one. Beautiful looking design. Pagani Wyra written on the back of it. Just a really stealth looking cool Pagani. And then lane number two, we've got the Kona Zegiesco this time. Can the Exotics even this series out with a win? Or is the Yesco gonna take the win four to two? Let's find out right now. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And it's the McLaren Speedtail that takes the win in race number six, evening this out three wins each for the Exotics and for the Koenigsegg. So what should we do? Should we race them all and find out the true champion, the single winner of all of these? There's still an opportunity for the Yesco to have a good race and take the win. Let's find out right now. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. and some absolutely fantastic racing, but there can only be one winner, and that is the Lamborghini Urus. The SUV takes out all of the hypercars and supercars and beats out that Koenigsegg Yesco to take the win for the exotics. What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Welcome to today's Hot Wheels Tournament. We are doing an amazing 40 car Hot Wheels tournaments, and I have picked out 30 cars, and these, I'm, I've picked out the best ones, guys. Come on, I know you guys are gonna want the Koenigsegg, the Speed Tail, a Bugatti, I've got those, don't worry. We got you covered on those, but I'm gonna let you guys pick out 10 more cars for us to race today in our tournament. Thank you everyone who has joined in already. Make sure you guys are hitting that thumbs up button. I really appreciate you guys if you have already, but let's go ahead and switch the camera around here. And these are the cars that we got racing today. So we've already got 30 cars racing today. So don't worry guys, lots of great cars right there. As you can see, Kona's eggs, we got Lambos, Bugattis, everything. We got it all. We got, we got lots of good stuff in here, but I know there are some of you saying in the comment section, there's not enough fantasy cars. We do have uh, maybe a few fantasy cars mixed in. Mod, uh, Mod Rod's not really, but let's go ahead and pick out a couple of different fantasy cars we can add into today's tournament. So I'll let you guys pick. We've got some Pit Soul Shaker, Geoterra, Clip Rod. We've got the Donor Drifter. What cars do you want to see for fantasy cars we'll add a few of those in we'll get some fantasy racing in here as well so don't worry we'll have everything covered for you we've got the r8 we've got uh what do you guys want what do you guys want of these fantasy cars pick it up bone shaker all right let's do the 50th anniversary bone shaker we'll grab that uh what other ones do you have crescendo i don't have a crescendo out here donut drifter let's do that we got the bone shaker um we got uh i think this one is uh, what is this Lindstrom something Lindstrom racer or something like that? Let's go ahead and pick that one right there. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, Bugatti Veyron, we got clip rod. All right, let's do a clip rod as well. And uh, how about a pixel shaker as well? How about we do that? I'm already dropping Hot Wheels, guys. You know, you know me. I always drop cars. All right, let's throw some of those in right there. We got five of them, so let's mix them up. We need to. Add uh, here we go. There's three there and we'll do, you know, we'll do a pixel shaker and a bone shaker on each race. All right. We need five more cars. What guys, what cars do you guys want to see? We got the Senna already. Don't worry. Uh, mock speeder. I don't have, we got a shear on already. Uh, RV there yet. Uh, we could do an RV there yet. Why not? There's one right here. There's an RV there yet. All right. Muscle cars. You guys want some muscle cars? All right. Let's go over to my row right here. How about, uh, what do you guys want for muscle cars here? We've got some here. Uh, the six by six. Uh, no, we don't. We won't do the six by six. Seth, somebody wanted a Lambo. They wanted a couple Lambos. So we got. Uh, here we go. We got some Lambos right here. We already got a Demon. What Lambos do you guys want to see? We got uh, lots of different Lambos here. A Huracan. All right, let's do a Huracan. Someone was saying Super Trofeo. So let's do the let's do the orange Super Trofeo. How about that? We already got a Bugatti. Uh, Veneno, we could do a Veneno as well. How about the blue Veneno? All right, there we go, there we go. Someone said La Ferrari. That's a good choice. How about the silver La Ferrari? How about that? Okay, there we go. Uh, we need one more car. Okay, one more car, one more car, because that'll uh, equal up our 10. So which one more car should we get? Uh, Huracan we got, RS6, no, we've already got that. C7, we've got one. Uh, Lotus Esprit, uh, no, I don't, actually, you know what, Lotus Esprit is a good one. Let's do that. Lotus Esprit, here we go. How about that one? That's like the twin turbo Lotus Esprit. Uh, there we go. Okay, 
I think we've got it. We've got 40 cars, guys. So we got all the cars set for today's tournament. Let's go ahead and start it off right here. Uh, we'll, we'll start off with a random one. How about we start off with this five right here? This one's got the Bugatti in here. How about that? Okay, we'll get a Bugatti. We got the Audi, the new Audi R8 Spider. We got a Ford GT, the Impala SS. Let's go ahead and throw these all up on here. There we go. Ford GT, Jaguar, the Audi, actually. Whoa, 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 Bugatti. Bugatti's dropping already. Here we go. I'm dropping. You guys know me. I drop cars all the time. All right, we'll throw that up there. Those ones look wide now. So we got the Ford GT, the Impala SS, and what else do we have here? We've got the Jaguar XE SV Project 8. Uh, we've got the Bugatti and the Audi R8 Spider. Is everyone good? Can everyone hear me fine? If you can hear me, hit that thumbs up button, guys. I appreciate it. Here's our first race, though. Here we go. So each each race, we're going to have one car move on. So one car's moving on. We're good to go. Here we go. Unimark, get set, go. Oh, that Impala SS is quick. Number two, Impala SS. That's going to win. So we'll actually put our winners right over here. All right. So sorry. Bugatti's eliminated. Unfortunately, here's our here. This will be our elimination row right here. So there we go. The Audi's eliminated. The Jaguar's eliminated. The no go on them. Let's get uh, this row right here. So we got a couple Lambos. We got the clip rod, the Lotus, all of that good stuff in there. Let's go ahead and throw them all up onto our starting grid. Here we go. Clip rod in lane three, and we'll do the pixel shaker right there. All right. So we got. The Lambo Veneno, we got the Huracan Super Trofeo, Clip Rod. Am I, do I have Clip Rod the right way? Yes, I do. I was just thinking, maybe I have it backwards. Uh, we've got the uh, Lotus Esprit Twin Turbo, and we have the Pixel Shaker. Take your pick. Who's going to win this race for race number two? Who's going to win? Who's going to win, guys? Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, Clip Rod. Clip Rod takes the win in lane number three. There is Clip Rod. All right, clip rod. I, I unexpected. See, fantasy cars are good to race. We never know what's going to be fast. There we go. So those are our eliminated cars. Unfortunately, both those Lambos, a Lotus eliminated. There's all of our elimination rounds. All right, let's go on to uh, race number three here. We'll pick out a random one. How about this one right here? That's got a good lineup right here. We got the Mazda... We got a McLaren. We got the pre. Okay, I'll show. I'll show you all the cars here. We'll put them up here first. Uh, there we go. Oh, let's try and get them straight here. P1, Tesla, Lambo. Okay, so we got the Tesla Model Three, McLaren P1. This is the brand new color variation, the P1 that just came out in the end case. We've got the uh, Mazda uh, Miata MX-5. Honda Prelude and the Lamborghini Centenario Roadster, the new red one. Don't worry, the Jesco is coming up, guys. Don't worry about that. We've got that one in one of our races. Here we go, race number three. Who's gonna move on on this one? On your mark, get set, go. Oh, the Tesla, the Tesla Model 3 in blue. I love this car. That one is definitely moving on. Let's fix our track up here. There we go. All right, perfect. We'll throw our cars over here. P1's eliminated. Chantanari is eliminated. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice here for a sec. All right, next up, next race here. Let's do this race right here. We got uh, some of the fantasy cars as well as the La Ferrari. Let's put them up here. Here we go. All right. Oh, oh, one of them's already gone. There we go. Bone Shaker, Linster Prototype. Are we there yet? Uh, let's put the bone shaker right here. Okay, here we go. We've got La Ferrari, Donut Drifter, Bone Shaker, Are We There Yet, Linster Prototype. Who do you got in this one, guys? Hit that thumbs up if you guys are just joining in. Thanks for all the thumbs up so far. Appreciate it. Here we go. Race number four? Is this four? Yes, four. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, the Donut Drifter takes the win in lane number two. There we go. Donut Drifter It was quick. Out of the gate and gone. All right. Eliminated, eliminated, eliminated. All right. Our next race. Let's get, uh, how about we do the speed tail right now? There's a speed tail. We've got a couple other new cars. Let's do those here. All right. Let's put these up here first. I got three in my hand. All right. We'll do there. Uh, we'll do the speed tail right there in lane number three. Kia Stinger GT and the okay so Ram Rebel 
We've got the uh, Dodge SRT Demon, Challenger SRT Demon, McLaren Speedtail, there it is, uh, Corvette C6R, and Kia Stinger GT. Who's going to win this one, guys? You guys like the Speedtail? I love the Speedtail. I'm going for the Speedtail here, of course. Gotta love the Speedtail. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, the Kia Stinger GT absolutely destroys them. Kia Stinger GT takes the win. Unfortunately, the Speedtail is eliminated. Speedtail, Rebel, and there's our Challenger, SRT Demon. Let's fix the track here. There we go. All right, so those are our winners so far, guys. We've got our winners. Uh, we still got lots of, we got other cars. We got a McLaren here. Let's do this one right here. Here we go. We got the Defender 90. This is the Surf's Up, the McLaren Senna. And then we've got the 84 Pontiac Firebird and the Jeep Wrangler. All right, guys, who do you guys got for this one? Race number six, I believe it is. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm losing my voice here for a sec. All right, here we go. Who do you guys got to this one? On your mark, get set, go. Oh, it's, it's a close one. Who took that one? The Defender 90. Wow. Okay, I couldn't even call that, but it was the Defender 90 that took the light. So we'll give the Defender 90 the win. Deserved, eliminated, 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 and eliminated. There we go. Let's make sure none of them are hitting the track here. All right, our last two races in the first round. Let's do this one here. We got the Urus. We got the Konazeg Agera R. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, so Konazeg Agera R. There's the Gas Monkey Garage Corvette Mod Rod. We'll put the Aston Martin 177. And we got the Lamborghini Urus. Great lineup here, guys. Who do you guys got the win for this one? Urus? Urus is your pick. All right. Lots of Urus fans here. Corvette. Here we go. Urus, Urus, Urus. All right, guys. Let's find out right now. On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh, Urus is ahead. It is the Urus that takes the win, guys. Good call on that one. <coughs> Excuse me. But wow. You guys were right on that. Urus. One of the Kona's eggs eliminated. Aston Martin. Mod Rod. And our final race for the first round we do have the yesco let's find out who takes the win on that one and let's hope i don't lose my voice throughout this whole tournament guys we're gonna get through this we got this one we got some great races coming up here all right uh let's put the yesco in lane three how about that give him a nice good lane right there right there right there all right so we got dodge challenge or sorry dodge charger drift uh, the Range Rover Velar, we've got the Koenigsegg Yesco and the Corvette C7 Z06 plus the Mustang Boss 302. No, I'm not sick, guys. I'm just, uh, my voice is really dry. I should have got myself a drink before we started this tournament here. Uh, but we're good. We're good to go. Here we go. I'll, we'll, we'll do this here. We're going to find out who our winner is. Who's your pick? Yesco? I know everyone's going to pick Yesco in this one. Come on. Come on. Let's give some love to the Range Rover Velar, the Corvette, the Boss Mustang, the Charger, or sorry, Challenger, or Ch uh, Charger Drift. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh, who's going to be? Oh, lane one. It's the, no, it was the, the Charger Drift. There we go. Oh, Yesco was, uh, that was close. That was close. Sorry, guys. Yesco unfortunately eliminated that was a close race though i had to take the light on that one all right guys let's straighten out the track right here there we go so we got eliminated 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 so unfortunately all of these cars are eliminated from the tournament there it is there it is guys but we do have a great lineup for our finals matches there's our our all of our winning cars right here there they are not those ones in the back. Those are a bunch of bigger scale cars here. All right, let's do our first four. Two, three, four. And we'll do a one race. Winner takes all. And we're, got, we're getting a lot of wins from this side. So you know what? Let's put them mostly on this side. How about that? There we go. So we won't use lane one or two. Let's do that. All right, guys. So we got the Chevrolet Impala SS, Donut Drifter, Tesla Model 3, and Clip Rod. Who's your pick? Who is your pick for this one, guys? Who do you think? Who do you think? 
Lots of comments. Tesla, Impala, Donut Drifter, Mala 3, Donut Car. Oh, Impala. This is a mixed bag, guys. I don't know. We're going to find out right now. Here we go. Our semifinal race. On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh, it's the Tesla. Tesla Model 3 takes the win in lane number five. That's our winner, and that one's going to our finals. And unfortunately, these cars are all eliminated. There we go. We'll start more cars down elimination row. There we go. Actually, we don't have room, so we'll put them over on this side over here. There we go. All right. So Tesla is going on to the finals. Let's fix the track up a little bit here. There we go. And these are our final four. And one of these cars will face off in the Tesla in a best of three final. So let's go ahead and grab those ones here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, guys. I, I, who are you going for so far? Of all of the cars that are left, who are you going for? Uh, the Dodge Charger Drift, the uh, Lamborghini Urus, the Defender 90, or the Kia Stinger GT. Who's Who do you guys got for this race? Urus? Lots of Urus fans, I know. The Kia, the red one, the Defender, yes. The Urus? All right, guys, if, you, if, if you're going, if you want one of these cars to beat the Tesla, smash that thumbs up, guys. Come on, let's see some more thumbs up here. Here we go. Race number semifinal two. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, the Defender Kia comes out. Wow, what a race. The Defender had the lead, but the Kia just accelerated in that straight, and it beats out all of them. So we got... Two blue cars here. We got blue Tesla Model 3 and Kia Stinger GT. Wow, that was a fantastic race, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Sorry to the Lamborghini Urus. Such a nice looking car. One of my favorite new ca castings for this year. Unfortunately, it's eliminated. But let's go ahead and take our two winners. Let's fix our track right here. There we go. The crowd at the end that's watching. All right, let's go to... Uh, we'll, you know what we'll do? We'll do lane two and five. We'll switch them up in between those. So there we go. Lane two and five. All right, guys, here we go. So we're doing a best of three finals. That means we're going to switch the cars in our next race. The first car to win two races will be our grand champion for today. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? All right, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, it's close. The Kia takes the win in lane number two for our first one. Kia will take the win, but we'll switch it up now. Kia lane five, Tesla in lane two. There we go. Perfectly spaced out right there. All right, guys, can the Kia finish it off right now and take the win or can the Tesla Model 3 take the win? Tesla, you come on, you, you gotta put it in ludicrous mode now. We need, we need that power. Come on, Tesla. You can do this. You can beat the Kia in race number two of our finals. Oh my gosh, guys, I got favorites here. You guys caught me, I got favorites. All right, you guys, are you guys going for the Kia or you want the Tesla to win? Hit that thumbs up, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think, Kia or Tesla? I, I, I don't know, man. This is, gonna be, this is gonna be close. This is gonna be close. Here we go. On your mark, get set. Go! Oh, come on! Tesla takes the win in race two of our finals. We've got it all evened out, meaning we're going to a single race winner takes all. And you know what? We're going to use the middle lanes. There we go. We'll even it out in the middle lanes right here. All right, let's make sure that nothing's touching. Perfectly centered. There we go. Middle lanes. All cars are even. No cars are touching the starting grid. We've got it perfectly aligned. All right, guys. Wow. This is going to be good. Who do you think is going to take the win? This means it's a one race winner takes all. Kia Stinger GT, Tesla Model 3. Oh my gosh, guys. Who do you think is going to win? Who do we got? Who, who's on Team Kia? Team Kia. Hit it in the comment section below right now. Team Kia. Kia, Kia, Kia. There we go. We got lots of you on Team Kia. Who's Team Tesla? Team Tesla. Let me know in the comment section. Team Tesla. Ooh, yes. We got lots of Tesla fans too. Okay. Here we go. Our final race. One race winner takes all. Come on, Tesla. Get that charge on. Kia, warm that engine up. Here we go. Our final race. On your mark. Get set. 
Go! Oh, it's close! It's so close! Oh, the Kia takes the win and then takes the flip! It is the Kia and Tesla Moth. That was really close though at the end. It looked like the Tesla was ahead, but the Kia's top speed takes over and takes the win. Amazing race, guys. There's our winner, Kia Stinger GT. Today's tournament winner, oh my gosh. But you know what, guys, we're not done yet. We're not done yet, don't go anywhere. I think, I think, you guys know it. You guys, all the OG fans are saying, race the champ, race the champ, race the champ. Hit race the champ in the comments if you guys wanna see the Kia Singer T GT race our champs. What do you guys think? Race the champ? Yes, I think so. I think so. I think it's time. The F40, you know what? We got, we got several champs right here, so we're gonna do them all in one race. So we got F150. We've got the Jaguar XJ220, F40, well F40 we'll do right there, and our Cadillac 16. These are all of our original champions here. So we got four of the original champions, and now they're all going up against our Kia Stinger GT. Let's see, can this Kia Stinger GT even beat one of them? That's what I got to see here. What do you guys think? You think the Kia Stinger GT can beat one of them? Or who do you think is going to win this race? It's been a while since we raced the champs. What do you guys think? F-150, Jaguar XJ220, Ferrari F-40, Kia Stinger GT, or Cadillac 16, our original big champion here, guys. What do you guys think? Bleh. Jaguar F-40, Tesla. There's, there's no Tesla here, sorry. It's just the Kia Stinger GT. All right, guys, here we go. Let's race them. Let's find out right now. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, the Kia's out ahead. Oh my God, the Kia takes the win. The Kia takes the win. Can you guys believe that? We have a new champion, guys. Oh my gosh. That is right. Did you see that? The Kia just takes out every single one of our existing fast champion cars. I cannot believe that, guys. I cannot believe that car. Wow, 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 wow. Do, do you think we should race them again? Just to be sure, we'll switch the lanes up a little bit. I cannot believe the Kia just beat every single one of our existing champions. That is absolutely amazing. We gotta do this again. We gotta race them again. We gotta find out. Can it beat again? We'll switch the lanes up. We'll put the F40 here. We'll put the Kia lane two. All right. Oh my gosh, guys. I cannot believe the Kia just beat all of our existing champions. I did not expect that. Let's make sure no cars are hitting here. All right. Jaguar XJ220, Cadillac 16. Make sure they're all perfectly aligned. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys, can you believe this? Can the Kia beat them all again? And Kia be our new ultimate champion. I cannot believe it. Kia will, might have a chance to be the champ if it takes this race right now. And all of these cars, they're, they don't matter anymore. It'll be the Kia Stinger GT. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, it's close. No Cadillac 16 this time. Didn't look like Kia got a great start. So you know what we gotta do? We got it. We gotta race the Cadillac and the Kia in one race right here. All right, these guys, sorry, you've lost two in a row. You're gone. There we go. All right, we'll put those away. Let's fix our track right here. There we go. Fix the track up, get it all straightened out. Kia versus Cadillac. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Let's do it in this lanes over here. How about that? All right, Kia Singer GT versus Cadillac 16, the original champion. Who do you think is gonna take this one? Will the Kia take the win? Different lanes, what do you guys think? Kia, 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 Kia. Oh, we got a lot of Kia fans in this one. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. Oh, the Kia's ahead. Oh, the Kia takes the win. Can you believe that? That was so close. It looked like the Cadillac 16 was coming up, but it's our Kia Stinger GT. There we go. So there's our eliminated now champions. Kia Stinger GT, the new Hot Wheels champ. Can you believe that here, guys? I cannot believe it. Kia Stinger GT, the new champ. We have a new champion, guys. A 2021 car now goes up just above all of our super treasure hunts. And we've got a new champion, Kia Stinger GT, the fastest Hot Wheels car ever down my track. There we go, guys. There we go. It just beat out all of our champions. Unexpected to say the least. I cannot believe that, guys. I'm 
I'm just beyond. I cannot believe it. We have a new champion, guys. I did not think that our winning tournament car today would beat out all of the champions, guys. Wow, amazing. What a great Hot Wheels tournament, guys. Thank you so much for watching this tournament. We've got, we've got to race the Kia Stinger GT against some other cars that are coming out for late 2020 as well as 2021 cars because you know what? We got a new fast champion, guys. I cannot believe it. Make sure you guys are hitting that thumbs up if you guys want to see more Hot Wheels tournaments. My name is Phil from Peak Time Racing. Thank you so much for watching this one, guys. I appreciate you guys all joining in. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. What's up, Peak Timers? It's race day, and today we've got a real riders tournament, including the star of our show, the brand new re-release of the Koenigsegg Agera R in white. It looks really, really nice. Absolutely spectacular, very popular new release from Hot Wheels. And it is going up against six other race cars. Check them out there in the back. Let's have a closer look at them. First up, it is going against the Nissan 2020 Vision Concept car. This is what the future of Nissan could look like. I think it looks really, really cool. Can't wait to see it go down the track. And then next up, we've got the Acura NSX. Check out this race variation, Adven painting on the side of it, all metal body, metal base, nice real riders, very quality casting. Then we've got the Audi R8 LMS in white. I love the front end of that. I love the front grille. All the tampa work on there looks really, really cool in that big rear wing. Then we've got the Ford GT race, all ready to race. Check out the paintwork on this. A Le Mans winning car, can it beat the Koenigsegg? Then we've got our only super treasure hunt racing today. It is the Lamborghini Aventador Mira Homage Edition. Real riders, cool looking wheels on there. Can't wait to see that go down the track. Then last, it will be racing up against the McLaren F1 GTR, one of my favorite cars of all time in the golf livery looking fine. All right, let's get to our first race. How many of these cars can the Koenigsegg beat? Here we go, race number one, in Nissan versus Koenigsegg. On your mark, get set, go. A very close race, the Koenigsegg almost had it, but it was the Nissan that took the light in the end. We've switched up the lanes, it's race number two time, Koenigsegg versus Acura NSX. Who's gonna take this one? Here we go, on your mark, get set, go! No contest this time, Koenigsegg takes the win against the Acura NSX. It's one to one, the losing car faces the wall, and we've got race number three all set, Audi R8 LMS versus the Koenigsegg Agera R. Let's find out who takes this one. On your mark, get set, go! And it's another win for the Koenigsegg beating out the Audi R8 LMS. The two losers facing the wall, the one winner facing out. So it is two to one for the Koenigsegg, but now is the Ford GT race time. Can it even this out? Let's find out right now. On your mark, get set, go. And it's another win for the Koenigsegg against the Ford GT race. Three losing cars facing the wall now. Only that one winner, the Nissan, and the Koenigsegg Agera might be a runaway winner with this one. We're gonna find out right now when it goes up against the Lamborghini Aventador Mira Humage. Do you think the Aventador can finally beat that Koenigsegg and maybe even out this series? Let's find out right now. On your mark, get set, go! Absolute domination by the Koenigsegg, the Lamborghini Aventador couldn't even finish the race. And the Koenigsegg Agera R is just running away with this one, but can we get a little bit of redemption from the McLaren F1 GTR? Let's find out right now. Here we go, race number six. On your mark, get set, go!
And there you have it guys, the Koenigsegg Agera R beats out five of the six cars that it raced today. What's up Peak Timers, Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Hot Wheels makes so many different cool exotics cars, but I've hand selected 17 of the specific Hot Wheels hypercars. Let's get started. And the first one that we'll start off with is the Pagani Waira. This one is specifically made in a nice silver color. It's got chrome wheels on there. And if we look at the back, you can see the detail that specifically says Pagani and then the Waira in very little writing, as well as the nice detail of the a little quad exhaust that we can see right there and nice lights as well. And in real life, this one has the doors that flip right up on this particular model, though it does not. Nice detail for the front headlights as well. Just an all around cool casting. And we've seen many, many different recolors of the Pagani Waira. Next up, another Pagani Waira, and this time it's the Roadster variation. And this one we've seen in probably about four or five different recolors. And I really like the, this casting. I think it's a lot more exotic looking. You can see those fins that kind of come up in the back right there. I think that looks really, really cool. And it's same got the quad exhaust, the little Hot Wheels logo, the Pagani logo on there. This particular one has some nice chrome spoked wheels on there. And a nice little stripe down the center. It's a very very, very exotic, cool looking hypercar. I really love the Pagani Waira's, especially this Roadster. And next up, we move on to Porsche, and this is the 918 Spider, and it's the first of the Holy Trinity cars that you're gonna see today. This particular one is made in blue with a white stripe down the center. Great details on the front headlights. I really like these white mesh style wheels as well. And then we see the exhaust that comes out the back on the top, which is fairly unique to this car. A little Hot Wheels logo on the back. Not a lot of detail as far as lights or anything goes on the back, but this car, it's a very, very cool looking one. And we've seen this one in about three other different recolors. And this particular blue is my favorite of all of them. Moving on to Koenigsegg, and we've got the Koenigsegg Agera R. And this was a very recent release in white, and this one has great detail on the front of it. You can see those red kind of pinstripings that highlights the center of the car right there, as well as great looking detail of the headlights. And this one is a premium car, so it is a metal base with real rider tires on there as well. And these wheels are just fantastic looking. Just check it out. I just love the dark deep dish wheel look on there. Great detail on the rear end of it as well those headlights and the cool little fin spoiler and then the very cool looking little ghost which is specific to Kona's eggs it's a very very cool looking car and you can still pick this one up but I assume this one's gonna go up in value very very soon the Kona's egg Agera R and one of our newest released hypercars is the Koenigsegg Yesco. And this particular one's in like a kind of a silverish gray color, but it's a very, very cool looking design. And you can see just the uniqueness of that spoiler that kind of comes up through the center. It's highlighted in black and then it, just a big spoiler right on the end right there. So very, very cool for aerodynamics. Big exhaust in the center with the little Koenigsegg riding just down there. These wheels are actually quite small. I would have to see maybe a little bit bigger wheels on them but maybe in the future we'll get one with different wheels but it's an all-around fantastic looking car and when we saw this one announced we were super super excited to get another Koenigsegg to the Hot Wheels line the Koenigsegg Yesco. And moving on to one of four Lamborghini hypercars, we'll start it off with the Lamborghini Reventon. And this one particularly is in a very gloss black with a tan interior on the inside of it, as you can see right there. And good detail for those front headlights. Nice chrome staggered wheels on there as well. Good detail on the back end, big exhaust in the middle. I like this car. The Reventon when it first came out was very, very cool. And in real life, they only made it in like a stealth grayish color, but they've got Hot Wheels variations in different colors, especially this nice black one. I really like the glossy look to it. The Lamborghini Reventon. And we've seen it before. Hot Wheels will release a hypercar and then come out with the Roadster variation of it. They did it with the Pagani and now they've done it with the Lamborghini Reventon. This is the Lamborghini Reventon Roadster. And this particular one's in a very light silver, nice like striping down the middle right there. That's kind of pinstripe highlighted. And those, those headlights, they just look evil. They just look like a evil animal. Very, very unique design to this. These wheels are just very, very fitting for this. I just love this color. This color just shows the line of this Lamborghini. It just shows 
all the cuts and slots and aerodynamic features of the Lamborghini Reventon Roadster. It's just a fantastic looking color, a great looking casting from Hot Wheels. And next up is the Lamborghini Veneno. And, and this, in my opinion, is the most exotic looking Lamborghini they've ever made. It's kind of based off of Lamborghini Aventador, but it's totally souped up, totally different bodywork on there. Just look at the front end. Look at all the slats and lines on this one. This particular one's in blue, although we have seen it in several different recolors. You can see one right behind me right there. That's a premium one in yellow from the Gran Turismo set. But I really like this blue one. I think it looks great. And I love just the spoiler and the lines that you see on the back and how it kind of connects right in the middle. It's really cool aerodynamic features on this one, especially this one with the black wheels with the colored lip on them. Looks great. The Lamborghini Veneno. Next up is the Lamborghini Centenario Roadster. And oddly enough for this one, we never saw just a regular Lamborghini Centenario. They just came out with the Roadster variation, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. I think it looks great. And you can see the front headlights right there and the cool looking down grill on there as well. From the side of it, great details, just a very unique car. The one really cool thing about the Lamborghini Centenario is the back kind of uh, diffuser right here. It's just got so so many different slots and slats. It's just a giant diffuser. It's a very unique design to this car. And it's a very limited car in real life, like most of these hyper cars, but especially the Lamborghini ones. But this one is a very nice looking one in red. And we do have two other previous colors of this one. It's like a gray and a white color. The Lamborghini Centenario Roadster. Moving on to Aston Martin, we've got the Aston Martin 177. And this particular one is one of the newest releases. It's red with an off-centered white stripe and it's got a very light interior on there as well. It's a very unique design. It's kind of like an Aston Martin DBS, but extended on there. And in real life, they only made 77 of them. That's why it's called the 177. So it's kind of a cool name to go with the cool design of this car, but it's probably one of the first hypercars from Aston Martin that I can think of off the top of my head. I can't think of any other hypercars that originally came out before the 177, but it's a very cool looking car. I love the design of all Aston Martins, and nonetheless, the 177 looks great. And next up, another Aston Martin. This is the Aston Martin Vulcan. And this one's got a cool looking top. You can see the interior. It's like a bubble roof on there. Very cool for aerodynamics. This particular one's in a white color with red highlighting. And we've seen one of these in real life with this exact coloring. And I think it looks fantastic. I love it so much. And we've got black glossy wheels on there. A very cool looking design on the front of it. Very Aston Martin-esque, of course, and a giant giant rear wing on there for the aerodynamics for this Aston Martin Vulcan. This is the second color release of it and hopefully we get more color releases of the Vulcan in the future, but I love it a lot. Next up, we move on to McLaren and we've got the McLaren P1. And this particular one is, is in yellow, kind of like the volcano yellow of the original McLaren P1. And if you guys know me, you know how much I love McLarens and yellow, the color is my favorite color as well. So I absolutely love the McLaren P1. I know you've heard me say I love a lot of these type of cars, but especially McLarens, I really, really like. And the one thing I always say about the McLaren P1 that Hot Wheels has made is is they made it in race mode. So race mode means that the rear wing is raised up. There's a lot of models that are made of the McLaren P1 where the wing is actually set down and I don't like that. I think it looks much better with that wing raised up in the back right there. So they've done it for this Hot Wheels McLaren P1 and we've seen this one in probably about 10 different recolors. Most recently we got a dark gray variation of it but you gotta collect them. The McLaren P1's a great looking hypercar to have. And next is another McLaren hypercar. This time it's the McLaren Senna. And this particular one is the Hot Wheels ID variation. So it's a little bit more premium paint and wheels on there, as well as it does have the painted front headlights, which for original release of this, it was a little bit of a downfall that we didn't see any detail on the front lights, but the Hot Wheels ID variation looks great and great detail on the back of it. And it's got that Spectra flame, really, really shiny, glossy paint job on there 
there. I'm absolutely in love with the McLaren Senna. I think it's one of the fastest cars made around the Nürburgring track in real life. Although it hasn't been officially tested, I think you can beat the Aventador SVJ around Nürburgring. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Is the McLaren Senna one of the fastest track hypercars in the world? And now the McLaren Speedtail. It's again one of the newest released hypercars from Hot Wheels, a brand new casting. And this one's very unique because it does have the center seating position with two seats on the side, just like the McLaren F1 that it kind of came out to follow up on. But the McLaren Speedtail is a unique design. It's kind of made for just speed. It's to go through air. So it's got really cool aerodynamic designs on there. You can see even on the front end of it, in real life, it'll have like slots that go right through here. So it's very, very cool. And we can see on the back, even in real life, it has these little slots right here. You can see them kind of cut out, which is carbon fiber, which will bend. But obviously in Hot Wheels formation, they don't do that. But the uniqueness as well as the two different wheels on the real life one, we do have a wheel cover on here for aerodynamics. So they've kind of imitated that for this McLaren Speed Tail. But I think it's a great looking hypercar. I can't wait to see this one in new color variations in the future, the McLaren Speed detail. Next up is Bugatti and this is the Bugatti Veyron and it's probably the first release of a hypercar from Hot Wheels and it's probably one of the first ever hypercars even in real life. This particular version is the Speed Machines variation so it's a quite a rare one that we don't see very often and it's got a black kind of two-tone with white and then it's got gold highlights. You can see the gold horseshoe grille just on the front with a little Bugatti logo right there as well. 10 interior on this one and even on the back you can see kind of a gold exhaust tip on there as well and then we've got the EB for Bugatti right there and then it's got nice detail for the headlights and you can see that quad 16 engine just sitting right there in the back. It's a, a great looking car and if you want to get your hands on this one in real life then you're gonna have to probably pay quite a bit. The Speed Machines variations of this Bugatti sells for probably over $100 brand new in package now but Good luck finding one if you do. It's a great looking car. It's definitely one you should have in your collection, the Bugatti Veyron. And to follow up the Bugatti Veyron, we've got the Bugatti Chiron. And when this one was originally announced last year, we were super excited about it. And this was the original release. It's a blue, kind of a navyish blue color, but it's still glossy. And it's got some nice silver trim around there. So it's got kind of that horseshoe built into the side of the design. Very, very nice. And then on the front, you can see that horseshoe grill. You can see the Bugatti logo. Again, more silver highlighting. Nice looking wheels on this. This one as well and on the back it's got that cool design that comes down right through the center we have seen this one followed up by a black release as well as a Zamac edition release and very soon we're getting a light blue one with white wheels and a Hot Wheels Exotics 5 pack so stay tuned for that one but I really like it it's one of my favorite new castings they've released in the last few years the Bugatti Chiron and last but definitely not least, one of the most popular hypercars ever made, it's the Ferrari La Ferrari. Ferrari's greatest car that they've done in hypercar format so far, and I'm sure it's gonna be followed up in the future, but the Ferrari La Ferrari, it's got crazy value in real life, and it's a great design for Hot Wheels. You can see the nice detail on the front end. It's even got the little Ferrari logo right there, and there it is, all very, very nice with those chrome wheels. Nice detail on the back end of it. And the one unique thing about this, about a lot of these hypercars, is they don't make Ferraris for Hot Wheels anymore, so they don't make any more of these La Ferraris. They came out with it in two different colors. It came out in this red color, and then they came out with a silver variation as well. So if you see these ones, in like a garage sale or any flea markets or anything for sale, definitely pick it up because it's gonna be a lot more valuable in the future because it's a Ferrari and we don't see any Ferraris from Hot Wheels anymore. And of course, it's a La Ferrari hypercar. In the comments section down below, let me know which is your favorite Hot Wheels hypercar. What's up guys, today we've got a very special one versus one. We've got two amazing supercars. We first have the Koenigsegg CCX, as you can see, beautiful red, amazing supercar, one of the fastest in the world. And look at that beauty. This is a uh, special editions Hot Wheels car. 
Um, I can't remember what set it came from. I wonder if it says on the back. Uh, let's see. No, it just says Konos X CCX made in Malaysia, but it's got these uh, rubber wheels. So it came in one of the the more higher expensive packs. So, um, anyways, but awesome looking car. Absolutely love it. It's going to be amazing down the track. Wonder how these wheels are going to hold up. If they're going to be faster or if they're going to be slower. So we'll have to wait and see. Next one we have another very rare Hot Wheels car is the Bugatti Veyron. And this is an amazing one. This is uh, one of the early castings that came out. And uh, I've got a bunch of these brand new still in box um, that I'm collecting as well. But this is one that I have out and I love playing with it. So let's throw it down one versus one. Love that color scheme. That's the classic two-tone Bugatti color scheme. As you can see, big fat chrome wheels on there. That Bugatti front end. Very, very cool. So let's set them up. So one versus one works the same way as uh, my regular races on Mondays. So it's a uh, best of three and we'll see who can take it. If uh, the same winner wins two races, then it's game over. So here we go, here's the track. No middle camera, just our ending slow motion camera for the one versus one. But I'm just going to get the camera at the end set. We'll be right back. Tracks all set. Cars are all staged. Here we go. Race number one. On your marks. Get set. Go. Oh, that Bugatti. All right, so that wasn't even close. The Bugatti just whooped its butt. But let's see if race number two, if the Bugatti can finish it off or if we're gonna go to a third and final race. My guess, ooh, it's pretty easy choice here. But here we go, track's all set, cars are all staged. On your marks, get set, go. There we go, easy, easy win for the Bugatti. Wasn't even a contest at all. Konozeg, I'm sorry, but you're just way too slow. I mean, I, I guess these, these rubber wheels on the Konozeg just don't roll very well on the track. Too much friction, just too slow. Traction, but no rolling. This Bugatti is just smoking fast. What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. It's case unboxing time, and today we have the best case of 2020. That's right, it's the 2020 Hot Wheels N case. So many good cars in this case, including McLarens, Koenigsegg, some new models, as well as possibly a treasure hunt, super treasure hunt, or chase ID car. If you're wondering where I get all my Hot Wheels cases, or you wanna get your own Hot Wheels case, check out granatoys.com. This is where I get all of my Hot Wheels cases from, and you can too. The treasure hunt for this case is the Beatles Yellow Submarine, and the super treasure hunt for this case is the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. The ID chase car for this case is the Aston Martin 177. Let's hope that we get one of those cars in this case. Let's go ahead and start unboxing. And we'll start it off right up top right here and let's see our first three cars. First up, we've got the 1984 Pontiac Firebird in red. Very nice looking car. We did see this one in the previous case and we have the 49 Merc, really cool looking flame job on there. And next, we've got a recolor of the 1991 GMC Cyclone. We saw this one originally in black and now we've got it in red. I really, really like this one. Our next three cars, just right up top right here. And ooh, check that out. We've got the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. And this is just looks to be the regular. It doesn't look to be the Super Treasure Hunt variation of it. But nonetheless, such a good looking casting. I'm really happy to get another one of those. 
And next up, we have the 1996 Chevrolet Impala SS in black. A new casting to this case, very, very nice. And this one, we saw lots of picture releases before we hit this casting. And here we go, we've got that one. Nice, 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 I'm liking that. And the treasure hunt for the case, it's the Beatles Yellow Submarine. And it looks like it's kind of awkwardly placed in there. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. It doesn't move around or anything like that. But that is your treasure hunt for this case, the Yellow Submarine, a very cool looking casting. And we'll put that aside and we'll move on to the top right up here. We've got the Rip Rod in Chrome. We saw that one in the previous case. There's the 1989 Mazda Savannah RX-7 FC35 or 3S, I'm not sure if it's an S or a 5. And we've got the Pedal de Metal. There we go, X Racers. And, ooh, I see a new recolor, which is one that we're looking forward to. It's a recolor of the McLaren P1. And this is in like a dark gray color with blacked out wheels on it. Looks fantastic. I absolutely love the McLaren P1. And I'm so happy to see another recolor of that one. Then we've got the Aston Martin 177. And this one, they do have a Chase ID variation of this car, which hopefully we get in this case. We'll see, we'll see, maybe. But other than that, that's the mainline variation for it. And then we have the Sky Boat. Looks to be a new recolor of Sky Boat. It's got kind of like a matte finished black on the front of it. That'll be interesting to open up and see what it's like. All right, moving on to our next cars. We've got the Batmobile, and that's all in chrome. There it is, the Batman Batmobile. And this is a brand new casting. We've got the 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel. There we go. Gorgeous looking casting. Was really looking forward to this one, and we finally got that. Can't wait to open this one up. And next, we've got the 65 Ford Galaxy. It's all flamed out, the Ford Galaxy right there. And let's move on to our next cars. Let's see what else we can get here. We've got the uh, Astano uh, Hoto Hoto. I'm not sure exactly. I think it was supposed to be Moto, but it says Hoto. Okay, maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, Geoterra and Donut Drifter. There's those four right there. All right, we'll put those aside. And what else do we have? Oh gosh, there it is, guys. The one. The single car that we've been waiting for for a very long time. We saw it when it was announced and I can't wait to open this one up, but we have our hands on it. The 2020 Koenigsegg Jesko or Jesko, however you want to pronounce it from the Hot Wheels Exotic Series. And there it is, beautiful looking car. Very, very nice. And I can't wait to, I'm mean, like, I'm already looking forward to recolors of this car. I think we'd, it'd be cool to see it in white, maybe with like a blue trim and dark wheels. That would be really cool as well. But Koenigsegg Yesco, we finally have it in hand. We'll be definitely opening that one up on the next video. And we got some other colors as well. We've got the Honda S2000 in green. That looks to be a new recolor of that one. And we've got Surf and Turf right there. Awesome. All right. Ooh, we got a couple. Look at these, okay, roller toaster and two of the Lamborghini Urus. We saw this one in the previous case, but now we've got two more of those. Really liking that casting. And we're gonna be throwing these down the track pretty soon as well. So stay tuned for some race videos of those ones going down the track. And we've got the Dodge Charger Drift Car. And we've followed that by the Quick Bite as well as the Jaguar XESV Project 8. There we go. And what do we have after that here? We've got Roger Dodger, a new recolor of that one, another 65 Ford Galaxy, and this looks to be a new recolor. It's the 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT, and this one in black. I can't remember, I don't think we got this one in the previous case, so that is a new recolor for this case. Very, very nice. All right, we'll put that aside. And we've got Geoterra, another one of those, the 2019 Ford Ranger Raptor, and the 73 Ford Falcon XB. I think we saw all those ones in previous cases. Let's see what we have right here. Uh, we got another rip rod in that chrome, a 52 Hudson Hornet with the 817 on the side. And there's another one of those 1996 Chevy Impala SS's. All right, moving down to the bottom of the case. Let's see what else we have in here. We should have another McLaren in here somewhere as well. Uh, we've got the another one of the 52 Hudson Hornets. We've got the custom Ford Maverick. And there's that 84 Pontiac Firebird, the first car we saw in this case. 
All right, let's see what we have up top right here. Ooh, there's another yes go. Awesome, I'm dropping cars, of course. It wouldn't be a peak time racing video if I didn't drop any cars. But there we go, there's another one of the Ram Rebels and another Koenigsegg yes go. Very, very nice, loving that car. Uh, Batmobile, the chromed out one. Then we got one of those ones as well. And the couple cars that I dropped right here. Oh my gosh, there it is. The McLaren Speedtail. Wow, I was just super looking forward to this car, almost more than the Koenigsegg, but there is the McLaren Speedtail. Beautiful looking car, such a cool looking car in real life. I'm so happy that it came in Hot Wheels. Even that picture on the front of it looks fantastic. And this is not the last McLaren that we have in this case as well, so stay tuned guys, but wow. Amazing car, really, really loving that uh, McLaren Speedtail there. And then we got the Turbo Charged, there we go. Throw that over there. And what else do we have up here? Let's grab four cars now, so we can get four out here total. We've got the uh, Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. We've got the Skull Shaker, new color of that one. The Donut Drifter, and that looks like he's a little bit sideways. Come on, Donut Drifter. Nope, he's gonna be stuck in there. And then we've got Slide Kick. That's a new color of that one. I think we saw the one in the previous case, though. All right, what else do we have? Next up, we've got Moto Wing. We've got the Roger Dodger and the Mod Rod. We saw those ones before. And what else do we have? We still got another McLaren coming up. Surf and Turf, Sand Blaster, and the 67 Camaro. That's a cool looking, I like that flame job on that Camaro. That looks fantastic. All right, we'll put that aside. We've got custom Ford Maverick, followed by a Ford Falcon XB, and a brand new recolor of the 2019 Corvette ZR1 convertible. I like these wheels on there, those, those nice thin spoked wheels on there. It's definitely different from the previous ones. That's a cool looking color. This car was just so cool. One of the new castings for this year. Great looking, love it. All right, I'm dropping cars here beside me. I'm so excited for this case, guys. I just absolutely love this case. Linster prototype, and there is a brand new recolor of the Datsun Bluebird wagon. We saw this one in like a red variation with the Momo on the side. Now we've got it with a black variation, and this is a really cool car. Lots of people love that one. And we've got the Turbo Rooster right there. All right, we'll put that aside. I'll pick up some more cars here. Speed Driver. And we've got the Turbo Rooster again, and Duck and Roll. Another color of the Duck and Roll. There we go, fun little casting. And there's our new McLaren, and we've got another one too. We've got the McLaren Senna in white. A new recolor of the McLaren Senna. And I actually did find this one in a 10 pack, first all. So that's kind of interesting that I got one of those before, but we finally get it in the case, in the 2020 end case. Then we've got the Speed Driver and another McLaren Speedtail. Cannot get enough of these. Can't wait to open these ones up. Wow, wow, three McLarens in this case, plus a Koenigsegg. This case is just amazing, guys. I love it. All right, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm moving the case around. We've got the Turbo Charged again, another Tesla Model 3 in blue. I got this one in the previous case. I love this one. It's my favorite color of the Tesla Model 3 that they've ever come out with. Same with real life. I love the blue Tesla Model 3s. And we've got the Surfs Up. All right, there we go. We got those ones. And our bottom three cars in this case, the last three that we have, the High Beam the Linster Prototype, and the Ford Ranger Raptor. Well, we're gonna be opening up a lot of these cars on our next video. Let me know in the comments section down below which was your favorite car from this case, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.